Hey guys, what's up? So this is a bit of a different video. Uh, I don't usually do these type of things, but uh, kind of just be nice to experiment a little bit. So this is going to be a bit of a comic haul. So uh, I'm going to go from DC into Marvel. I've got four books in total to show you today. I don't know when I'm going to get another action figure review. So you're just going to have to deal with uh, not having that for now. Unfortunately, I don't mean it. That didn't, I didn't want it. Eh, I didn't mean to sound harsh when I said that. <laughs> uh, I meant uh, that um, for now, it's just not going to happen because I don't know when I'm going to get the next action figure. But um, I do have a couple comics here. So first of all, we're going to show off this one, Tales of the Titans. My favorite DC superhero team is the Titans. I grew up with many of the characters. I did not grow up with the original show, but I grew up with many of the characters. And then obviously a lot of them, a lot of them are my favorite characters of DC. So, and this connects the current Titan series as well as some of the other Titans that they're doing. Like the, uh, they're doing like a classic teen, teen Titans, uh, story. And then they're doing a Titans United, which has a team that's more similar to the, uh, show. So I'm looking forward to that as well. I think that's what it's called, it's Titans United. I think they have a couple of books out. But then another thing that relates to the Titans is Night Terrors. Now, I do think I showed you guys the first Night Terrors book that I got. What I did not realize, that is a limited cover for Target, I'm pretty sure. Because uh, I saw the first book at Barnes Noble, which is where I got these. This is not a promotion, but... I mean, if one day I could get one, that'd be great. <laughs> uh, um, but... You know, that uh, that book apparently, that, at least that cover, I think might be original to the Target. So, but I did not realize that they had so many other Night Terrors books. I don't know why I didn't. Because uh, I remember hearing about them. But I don't know why they didn't show, or like why I don't, why I didn't remember. Uh, maybe because I thought that since they're doing so many different stories that only a few of them would get like a full collection. Nope. This one focuses on Ravenger, um, the Titans, who I mean, technically she's been a part of it, but um, Shazam, Black Adam, and Angel Breaker, which I have never heard of Angel Breaker, so I will guess I will be uh, learning about that character in this. So I do highly recommend the first book. It was very interesting, um, especially if you're into more of the dark and creepy stuff and... Um, if you're uh, into characters like Dead Man, because he's, I think, the main focus of the first book. I mean, I read it. I'm pretty. He's one of the main focuses on the first book. Damian Wayne is also one of the other ones. But let's go into Marvel with Punisher uh, War Journal. Um, uh, I have the two other books that this technically goes along with. This technically comes before those books. Uh, he's... Be I don't want to spoil it too much, but it also kind of connects with the Daredevil comics that Chip Zdarsky recently did. Um, Punish. Uh, I guess the synopsis is. Oh, I don't want to give it to, away too much. You know what? I'm not going to give it away. It's a great story. I highly recommend it. There's War Journal, and then there's the King of Killers. I think. Um, so, and there's two books to that, and then there's this one that comes before those. So, it's very interesting. I do highly recommend it. And I'm not usually a big Punisher guy. Not not that I don't like the character. It's just not a character that I go and I, I you know do a lot of uh, stuff with. So, now this one, I will admit to you, I don't have that much knowledge about this team, but I think I've heard of them, and I kind of have a synopsis of them. Um, if some other people have heard about them in the, in the, in the, uh, let me know in the comments and let me know what you think of them. If this team has been around for a while, I'm sure it has. And I just haven't been aware of it. Um, but it's called tiger division from what I've been seeing. This is, um, like a Southeast Asian Pacific, like superhero team. And they look pretty cool. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what, uh, they're all about. I say Southeast Asian. I don't know. Nah, well, one is Korean, so I don't know if that's considered Southeast Asian. No, because it's not South. Well, it's South Korea. I don't know. 
what I mean is that it is a Asian superhero team. I should just say that. Um, I don't know if these guys have been around for a while or if this is a new thing, but I'm looking forward to it. Uh, they all look pretty neat. Uh, so yeah. And then I see, I also see an advertisement for uh, a comic about Taskmaster. So, <laughs> uh, if you didn't know, Taskmaster is my favorite Marvel villain. Which, if you know me, you also know that my favorite DC super, uh, super villain is Deathstroke. So you can kind of see where my favorite uh, type of characters come from. I mean, my favorite Marvel character is Winter Soldier. And my favorite DC character is Nightwing. So... And then among other favorite superheroes are, of course, Daredevil and, um, you know, Moon Knight and, and Batgirl and stuff like that. So clearly, uh, <laughs> clearly, I have a particular type of superhero that I gravitate more towards. But I also really do love characters like Superman. I've got a bunch of Superman comics. Um, I'm hoping to get more. Uh, it's just the ones that I want aren't showing up as much, and it's annoying. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I'm just uh, sitting here, and hopefully I can... Uh, I, I mean, I imagine I'm going to enjoy all of these. Which one I'm going to read first, I have no idea. So, <laughs> that'll be uh, fun. And in case you're wondering, yes, I don't really care if it's a hardcover or a paperback. Um, both of them have their, you know, place. I really like the look of the hardcovers on a shelf. Um, and also, a lot of times, their covers are really neat, and then you can pull the covers off. Not, like, rip them off, but, like, you know, you can uh, take them off, and there's usually, like, cool art underneath it. And... A lot of the Nightwing ones that I have are hardcover. Same with the Justice Society one. Marvel doesn't seem to do a lot of that, uh, but DC does. And I've gotten a lot of DC comic books that are also uh, that are that are hardcover. Not just Nightwing and JSA, but also the first Night Terrors book, World's Finest Batman and Superman, and uh, one of the other Titans books that I have. I think it's called Titans Judius Contract. So, so yeah, but so anyways, uh, I know this is a little bit of a different video and it probably isn't that entertaining, but you know what, uh, hopefully it's just something you can sit back and relax and watch and hopefully you enjoyed it. So, and uh, if you are yourself reading comics, let me know what comics you've been reading. I've been reading a whole bunch of different ones. There's a whole bunch of different series I'm currently uh, reading. I do volumes, so I'm not a person that's getting like every single issue. So I'm not like super up to date on everything because I have to wait a little bit before I get the comics that I want. But yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, like, share, and subscribe. Peace.